By contrast, of course, the Disney organisation provides hardly anything else. Old Walt was never one to dwell much on the darker side of life, although since his death his company's been going through some pretty dim times. Recently, the Disney organisation has rather lost its way. It lost money, too, quite a lot of it, with the result that it became the target for takeover bids and the battleground for internal strife. Still, that seems to have been settled, at least for the moment, with Walt's nephew Roy ousting Walt's son-in-law Ron to regain control of the board. So the other day, I asked Roy Disney about the new mood at Disney. It's been four years between the animated features with us for the last ten years, and we'd like to come out with a new animated feature every other year. Because that's quite remarkable for Disney to be that long between animated features, isn't it? It really, that kind of began in the last ten years, that, that extremely slow production. Uh, the last one, Black Cauldron, which comes out over here in the fall, was the first charges went on to it in 1970. And actually it's been in production in the, the uh, vital stages of production for almost six years. <laughs> Are you coming? Me? Go in there? Baron, <sighs> the greatest warrior, the true hero! We think, uh, at least as of everything I've seen in the last few months, that it's going to, there's going to somehow be a marriage at Disney between the traditional uh, hand-drawn characters that we've always done and probably computerized backgrounds and scenery and that sort of thing. One of the most interesting developments in Disney productions recently has been Touchstone films, making films like Splash, which is for young adults. Do you like that development in the company? Very much, very much, because that's where our audience is. I, I really believe for, uh, or at least that's where a great deal of the box office dollar is. And I think we have to get into the 20th century and make that kind of film for those kinds of people. We'll continue to make films for the whole family as well. Why do you put them out under Touchstone? Why not go the whole hog and put them out under the Disney label? I think the idea was that, that it would be, it would serve as a, as a notice to parents in particular that this was not the usual Disney, uh, uh, just for the kiddies kind of a show. It wasn't that Disney was a little bit ashamed of putting out this slightly more No, I don't, I don't think it was a matter of being ashamed. It was just a, a matter of being able to say to your audience in general that this is a certain type of movie and that another one be, would be another kind of a movie. You know, in, in 1984, Disney was on the financial pages much more than the movie pages of the newspapers. No, I'm so. <laughs> uh, with terrible rows apparently going on one way or another. Do you think that has damaged the Disney image? I don't see any evidence of that at all. I mean, and I think the fact that, that uh, there is a Disney back at Disney now has probably helped us a little bit. Yes, of course. I like to think so. <laughs> well, indeed, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's the first time Disney's been in control for some while then, isn't yes, it? Yes, since uh, my, my father died in uh, 71. If Uncle Walt were alive now, and doubtless wherever he is, he's keeping a close eye on things. On We've the Disney always been afraid of that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm sure. What do you think he would think of it at this moment? I think he'd be delighted. Uh, the company, when, when Walt and my father were running it, was a place of excitement and, and uh, fun. It was a wonderful place to work, and, and in fact, they got away with paying lower salaries than any place else in Hollywood because it was such a fun place to work. And uh, there is again uh, there a sense of that same sort of excitement. What's happening? Who's that? We haven't finished guessing yet. You promised that if we guessed correctly. I'm tired of games. I'm tired of all of you. Why doesn't the silver go nuts? Well, both Return to Oz and The Black Cauldron are still in production. What we saw were advanced clips, but you'll be able to see the films around Christmas time.